that was part of... Uh, yeah, it was a stables that was part of the chateau. It serviced the chateau in the area. Um, but it's a pretty elegant kind of building, you know, as, as, as they often do in France. And it was a, oh, it's so an 18th nice. century stable. wanted to do, you know, so. meter pool being finished as we speak literally as we speak yeah yeah and we've uh, we, we converted part of the apartments part of the stables into apartments Over very us. nicely finished sort of felt is realized that people want just not to just come and train they want a, uh, an experience having a good holiday. yeah and it's not about a breeze block building no, no, I won't mention any other places. But you know that kind of breeze block building with a with a uh, a, bed. a cam bed is yeah. not is not what we ever looked no. for when we went on the training camps. We wanted a you know nice so furnished. Everything you need in regards to you know great. Yeah, Bill Bill Black should be coming down and doing some stuff with us because we work with Bill quite. We've had a lot of old cycling friends. Even Sean Yates has said it will come out. It's out here this year. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. but uh, yeah, we're looking forward to doing that. Um. Um, and they for individuals or clubs or teams or whoever wants to come out, really, we can... If you want something special and your club comes down and wants to do something particular, we can, we can adapt to that. Um, Must have been really exciting to watch the, the development you know, of, of the plan. Um. Uh, to begin with, it was, I mean, it's exciting, but it's frustrating when it takes such a long time. Because of a listed building, it's very, very difficult to get all the planning permissions through to do things. Um, but we, when we first saw it, we knew the venue was perfect for what we wanted. to go running um, and it was originally for the horses so right. Speedwork, yeah. Excellent. Um, and we've got a, a river that runs we've got river on our land 500 swim along it's absolutely so you've got open perfect. water swimming open water swimming as well running yeah. track 800 meters yeah 25 meter pool yeah and beautiful accommodation and 50 acres of land to go uh, running through rails running through the wood the wooden tra wood trails well, I'm sure we sort it out somewhere a chance to come <laughs> out you me out a good deal yeah yeah definitely, <laughs> definitely. excellent so the idea is to get the, the the camp starting in may running through to october mm. um the information where can where can the readers go to uh, you can, the easiest one to the website obviously which is lesstables.com that's les dash hyphen sort of les hyphen okay uh, but you can go to the pace setter website okay i'm familiar with that yeah we could get talk a little bit about a little bit about your background which is is very colorful very interesting you come yeah, I was in, uh, I was uh, involved in running all the city centre racing uh, on Channel Four back together. Yeah, sorry, yeah, slipping oh, you're into. You're only that. about twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish. Um, so running the the city centre racing, and I was involved with the Nissan Classic and uh, Wink Anton Classic and the Kellogg's Tour and all the all the major pro races basically that were taking place in Britain. Um, I'm still involved in cycle racing. Uh, up until recently, the Tour de Langkawi, uh, the new Tour of South Africa that's coming up, which is now going Tour of Britain. Um, and you so also helped um, on a consultant. So you just got involved in all this. And I Tour de France this year. Uh, we were very fortunate that uh, we got some tickets off of David Miller. So, and it was passing past our house almost. So we were down there. And... <laughs> what can I have? You get away with it, dark kind of. I'd have managed the mileage that he did that day. But, uh, <laughs>
<laughs> Can you speak Spanish? No. no. It would have been tricky, it's wouldn't it? <laughs> All being finished as we speak. Literally as we speak, yeah. yeah. Um, We've, uh, we, we converted some parts <laughs> stables into apartments. Okay. Very nicely finished. What I felt is I realised that people want just not to just come and train, they want a, uh, an experience. Having a good holiday. Yeah. And it's not about a breeze block build. No, no, <laughs> I won't mention any other place. But you know, that kind of breeze block building with a, with a, uh, a, bed. a cam bed is, yeah. not, is not what we ever looked no. for when we went on training camps. We wanted a, you know, nice so and In regards to you know great having great involved on the coaching side. Yeah, Bill Bill Black should be coming down and doing some stuff with us because we work with Bill quite. A lot. We've had a lot of old cycling friends. Stephen Sean Yates has said they'll come out. Us out here this year. Uh, yeah. But, but uh, yeah, we're looking forward to doing that. Um, Um, and they for individuals or clubs or teams or whoever wants to come out really we can or if you want something special and your club comes down and wants to do something particular we can we can adapt to that um, must have been really exciting to watch the the development you know of, of the plan um. Uh, to begin with, it was, well, it's exciting, but it's frustrating when it takes such a time. Because of a listed building, it's very, very difficult to get all the planning permissions through to do things. Um, but we, when we first saw it, we knew the venue was perfect. To go running. Um, and it was originally for the horses. Work, yeah, excellent. And we've got a, a river that runs, we've got a river on our land, 500 swim along. It's absolutely so you've got open water swimming. Open water swimming as well. Running yeah. track, 800 metres. Yeah. Twenty five metre pool. Yeah. 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 And beautiful accommodation. And 50 acres of land to go uh, running through rails, running through the wood truck. Yeah, I read the wooden truck. Well, I'm sure we sort it out somewhere with a chance to come <laughs> out. You sort me out a good deal. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. definitely. Excellent. So, the idea is to get the, the, the camp starting in May, running through to October. Mm. Um, the information, where can, where can the readers go to? Uh, the easiest one to the website, obviously, which is lesstables.com. That's les hyphen, sort of les hyphen. Okay. Uh, but you can go to the Pace Setter website. Okay. I'm familiar with that. Yeah. You can talk a little bit about a little bit about your background, which is, is very colourful, very interesting. You come from the background. Originally, yeah, I was, in, uh, I was uh, involved in running all the city centre racing uh, on Channel 4 back together. Yeah, sorry, yeah, slipping into... Oh, you're into only that. about 20. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish. Um, so, at that time, city centre racing, and I was involved with the Nissan Classic and uh, Wink Anton Classic and the Kellogg's Tour and all the, all the major pro races, basically, that place in Britain. Um, I'm still involved in cycle racing. Uh, up until recently, the Tour de Langkawi, uh, the new Tour of South Africa that's coming up, which is now going to Tour of Britain. Um, and you so also helped um, on a consultant. So you just got involved in all this night. Tour de France this year. Uh, we were very fortunate that uh, we got some tickets off of David Miller. So, and it was passing past our house almost. So we were down there. And... <laughs> Get away with it, dark kind of. I think I'd have managed the mileage that he did that day. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you speak Spanish? No. Well, it would have been tricky, it's wouldn't it? <laughs> um, you came from a cycling background yourself. Yeah, yeah, I raced that in Australia for, uh, for a while out there. I, originally, I, was, I played football, you know, I was a footballer. I didn't take up, even take up cycling until I was 21. Um, but I found myself getting sucked, as, as more and more as people do, into doing multi-sport. Uh, 
and found myself in triathlon, which was uh, something that, I must admit, at 34, I couldn't swim, so it wasn't something that I'd ever intended. expected to find myself racing triathlons. Are you going to blame your girl? She was a good international swimmer. And, uh, she wanted to learn that was part of... Uh, yeah, it was a stables that was part of the chateau. It serviced the chateau in the area. Um, but it's a pretty elegant kind of building, you know, as, as, as they often do in France. And it was a, well, it's, it's an 18th century stable. I wanted to do, you know. So. Five meter pool being finished as we speak. Literally as we speak, yeah. yeah. We've, uh, we, we converted to part stables into apartments. Okay. Very nicely finished. All I sort of felt is realised that people want just not to just come and train, they want a, uh, an experience. Having a good holiday. Yeah. And it's not about a breeze block building. No, 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 I won't mention any other places. But you know, that kind of breeze block building with a, with a, uh, a, bed. a cam bed is, yeah. not, is not what we ever looked no. for when we went on training camps. We wanted a, you know, nice so and Everything you need in regards to, you know, great.